Hello everyone, today I will show you what the heck did I programmed. First let me switch to macro folder and it was a plenty of stuff that I programmed. First off auto clicker and searches for red buttons and then each and every different game I made for today we will be checking out Haste Miner 3 and this is the macro itself as far as I can say and the tooltips exactly say what these parts do which means this image search is designed to close the level up part of the game this search is searching for a stone first type this search for second and this for third and if uh, they are not found there are two clicks that I forgot what they do. So, let's go to the game and of course open the macro. As administrator, because auto hotkey on Windows 10 is a little bit buggy. And using this, I already made a lot of progress, as you can see. Even though the menus here are a little bit glitchy, we can still see that I made small token bugs like 3000, small money bugs like 3000, a lot of potions, key bundles. Oh, now I get why this didn't work. And even the rare keys, sadly they don't stack as well as I would have hoped. And also there are basic mystery gifts. But uh, anyways, that is that. Let's go to deep mines, eerie eternity. As far as I remember, it should be left windows button and x button 2 for auto click and apps key for auto click so this is the macro that i shown you it scans for every single block here as far as i know and then mines them straight up or rather straight down in a big square of course these bombs are part of the game itself and are a good upgrade that I also like however they don't proc that much unless you use a glitch which is why I love this game honestly not only this game is a bit glitchy, but it's also fun to grind automatically or fun to write a macro for. And on the bottom left area of the screen, you see what type of items I find, or even I auto sell every several seconds. Found small money bag, auto sold. Now, Bombs go off, auto sold, sold blocks randomly. Auto sell goes off every interval of time and sells one then of my block storage. And there is also a random 1% chance for full auto sell of every single block in my inventory. Which is honestly crazy, as it is plus 
These bombs are like a fireworks. Now let me show you how these dynamites work, and of course, I don't move my mouse. It all goes automatically, so I can show you even while the boot is running how these dynamites work. I've thrown two. They explode after a delay, the, after a big delay, and then spawn several more dynamites, and then big bang. It's honestly pretty satisfying now that I think about it. And now that I click while the bot is running, it uh, like spawns a lot of things and does honestly coolest big bangs ever. Of course, there are other ways to macro. If you want to go to deeper layer, I have alternative version where you do this, stand in between two blocks like in Minecraft and then click and you see how rapidly it goes and then the bombs try to follow and sometimes they catch up, sometimes they don't auto sold fully for 120k and as you can see I have almost 200 million Cash 22 million tokens, 78,000 gems, and 277 skill points. Of course, those are just... How do you say it? Images that uh, try to tell you what these things are. However, not everything is accurate. But oh well, it's still a relatively good game to just break, have fun with, or even do a Zatsu Danon. You see how fun it is? Like bombs drop everywhere and stuff like that. And when you hold right mouse button on either of these things, you automatically open things like I'm holding right mouse button over slot 3 which is money bag and how do you know it is slot 3? because the slots come from 1 to 9 I believe and the slot 3 is the third from the left and the money bag is this yellow thingy. So now, if we want to go back up, we can't normally mine, as you can see. However, instead of normally mining, we can just reset and we're back on the top. So I'm gonna show you also an other bit of the game that I enjoy. Which is the upgrades, honestly. Bomber is maxed out. Two and a half percent. I remember, I think I glitched this. Yeah, I glitched Bomber to go to two and a half percent and auto sell to go to 0.1 percent like 42 you see it's 142 instead of the usual 100 that would use that you would see on the normal playthrough the nuker is already maxed out money bug maxed out now we all now there is a need to max block money value and block token value. And already at full. Besides this, there are also gacha chests that you gather from the mine and I shown you opening earlier in the slot one by accident. And 
the key fragments make these chests. These keys, I mean. Crimson dungeon, bronze treasure, and other things like that. Of course, sometimes they don't stack properly, so you gotta take care of this and stack it manually. Arcane dungeon. Dungeons are also a other good part that I show you a little bit later. But for now we can see that there is also a different type of shop. How do you call it? A shop for the cash and for the gems and for ads. And of course, if you have ad block like I do on my Brave browser, then I'm gonna show you how this will look like by clicking to buy this. Oops, we don't have ads for you, but we still want to reward you anyway, so let's count down from 5 to 0 together. So basically you waste like 5 seconds, I guess. And you can literally macro this because there is no clickable area on this uh, 5 second waiting thingy. Plus there are bombs here, there are medium money bugs, basic mystery gifts and even the dynamite. Of course I bound the auto clicking to to my mouse, extra buttons, so I won't break my mouse by click spamming like I sometimes did. Now let's get the deals here, small health potion, big token bag and bronze treasure key are for ads, so I will skip them and show you what are those dungeons about. Of course, this haste miner free Eterna mine is a beta build of the full Eterna mine game. So I forgot what is this? Ah, dungeon entrance. Oh, so I will show you skill and other shops beforehand. So I bought all the skills here, and if you click here, it uh, says automatically sells two and a half percent of your bucks back space every 10 seconds and the maximum upgrade is when a lower valued block is replaced it is automatically sold for 100 percent of its value and automatically sells 10 percent of your back space backpack space every 10 seconds just like i told you earlier that's why it auto sold them a lot of things for me has a one percent chance to insta break a block it's useful for pickaxe and these powers receive two gems every time a mine is nuked this is so cool and it upgrades into this explosive shatter into one smaller explosive when they explode however they don't shatter into smaller explosives, they shatter into normal sized explosives. By the explosion radius, I judge, of course. And this sword is for the dungeons, like getting crit to insta-kill insta the enemy, heals 0.1% of damage deal dealt to enemies, so it's like a lifesteal, up to 0.5%. Deals 10% more damage for every enemy hit with the same attack. So it's like a stack damage. The more enemies the around you, the stronger you are. However, you cannot really abuse that thingy because enemies spawn around you in a radius. So exploring is pointless because everything will spawn around you. So no matter where you go, it will always be empty. And here you can see the upgrades for the dungeon area. Loot multiplier 209%. I overmaxed this too. 
Oh boy, longer blade. Powerful blade for a knockback. So I don't upgrade it, of course. Poison blade for damage over time. And we have skins here. Flash blade, anti flash blade, trainee sword, cartoony sword, crimson sword. I personally like the crimson and anti flash and flash blade. Let's equip the flash blade because it seems superior in the looks. And this is simply saying. How do you call this? I forgot. Upgrade to your character area where you can upgrade movement speed, jump height, HP regeneration that I overmaxed happily enough, 0 0.73 HP per second. So almost 1 HP per second. And max health. Every upgrade you get quarter of an HP point. And I can finally show you the dungeons. And how easy it is to do things. Hmm. Which dungeon should I enter? Maybe... I'm gonna see what are the lively land scenes. I never entered these areas. Frosty forest and crimson caves are pretty much uh, fire and ice. So let's go lively land. And the bigger the reach you have, the bigger the sword gets. So it's like a PP size context. And as you can see, this is quite funny. You walk like a lawnmower when you turn on the auto click, and you suddenly have three blades instead of one. However, if you have too fast of an auto clicker, it will lag out. So let's turn on the normal. And as you can see, the basic mystery gift dropped here, so I just picked it up. And after killing 40 of those mob enemies, we'll have a dungeon boss to beat. So basically let's just walk and cut the grass. I should literally put the grass noises here, or rather lawnmower noises. Because literally nothing can threaten me. Just because I auto click this. And if you get a, a boss to get stuck on something, then you can just AFK here and farm these monsters endlessly. I hope I can someday glitch this sword to be on the, as big as the entire screen. But still, I'm satisfied that I managed to duplicate the sword into three at the same time. And become a lawnmower, literally. Of course, I don't moan lawn, I moan the lawn-looking enemies. The large landmaster is aware. Dot dot dot. Basically a green zombie-like guy. You can see how he can do anything to me. As I push him around like I, however I want to. And boom! The large landmaster has been defeated. I'm gonna show you also the other area that I don't know how it looks like. But basically, these monsters here are a, a preview of the bosses. So let's go to Arcana Reed. And 
go and demon some more loud. This time we fight against cactus monsters. Cacti monsters. Let me show you. If I manage to find one, see? Let's start slaying them. I can tank some damage, of course. And I wonder if I will be audible. So I will turn on the music. And... Should be audible enough. This is the real sound of lawnmower, I think. <laughs> it sounds quite funny. I'm land mowing the enemies here. You can see why it gets slowly and slowly addicting if you just manage to have your own fun in the game. Like this. Sadly enough, the knockback red makes it longer. For me to kill them, because they liter the knockback literally throws them, throws them away from my damage. It's uh, the same Minecraft experience all over again, where I had such a knockback that uh, it was hard for me to kill the mobs because they were like this. The arcane king has awoken a wooga. See, the AI of the monsters isn't that big of a deal here. Okay, slain. Now I can push this monster around. And destroyed. And clear. And this is the usual lobby music too. I of course mute this and turn on my own type of music to play with, because it just feels nicer. And I don't know how much this game will cost on Steam when it gets released, probably will be cheap like the Haste Miner 2. It was pretty fun experience nonetheless. I recommend it to everyone. Anyways, thank you everyone for watching, hope you had a fantastic time seeing me break the game. And see you on the next episodes. By the way, I want to upload regularly anymore. Sadly enough. However, I will upload uh, things that look fun like this. Like breaking games or speedrunning. And I don't pretty much care. Unless you will care and give me a lot of subscribers. So if you will care, then I will also care and give you a lot of exciting content. So bye bye and hope that you will care.